Hey, you're now in the den with Dr. Jen, where we explore female sexuality in a safe and comfortable environment and start thinking about sexuality outside the box. <laughs> okay, today's den chat topic. Rubbing the nub, beating the bush, diddling, jilling off. Okay, so those terms for female masturbation are hardly as common as all the terms for male masturbation, but that's what we're talking about. Sexually arousing yourself, bringing pleasure to yourself. <laughs> but you know what? It's gotten a bad rap out there. I mean, many religions forbid it. Former Surgeon General Jocelyn Elders was fired for suggesting it as a safer sex option to teens. Fired, yeah. It makes a lot of people uncomfortable. I've been in a room with rowdy women talking about sex, having fun, masturbation comes up. There's a lot of quieting down, there's a lot of uncomfortableness around that. So my thoughts on this, I don't know, it seems like sexual activity left alone, left to its own devices, is too dangerous and too powerful. But I tell you, there are so many benefits. <laughs> Knowing what pleases you. Taking the time and doing something just for you. There's no sexual health risks of disease or pregnancy. Your pleasure is primary. It can relieve menstrual cramps. And it can be a playful addition to a relationship. <laughs> so don't listen to anything negative you've heard about masturbation. And dig in there and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Sexual fun fact number five. I learned this fascinating tip from a woman that used to be in prison on how to make a homemade dildo. I'm serious. She said, you take a toothbrush or a pencil, wrap two maxi pads around it, and put a latex glove on top. Yeah, because they're easy to find items and they're easy to clean. <laughs> I love the creativity. Now that's thinking outside the box to get into the box. <laughs> the Den Recommend. I've got another great book to recommend for you. It's called The Guide to Getting It On by Paul Jonides. This book is very informative, thorough, open-minded, sex positive, and entertaining. One reviewer on the back cover states, a world-class sex manual. Whoever you are and however much sexual experience you've had, you will benefit from reading this book. And now a fun quote for you from the guide to getting it on. But what if God feels more honored when a person joyfully masturbates than when he or she says a speedy rosary or spends an obligatory hour in church? After all, God created orgasm while prayers and churches are the creation of man. Depending on your views about God and religion, this may be something to think about. <laughs> so if you have any comments or questions about masturbation, feel free to check out my website at www.drjensden.com or email me at jennifer at drjensden.com. So now, go on out there. Be kind to yourself and get down with yourself. I feel like an ass. <laughs>